rainbows one of the most colorful sight in the nature rainbows have been part of the countless myths and legends throughout the history but have you ever wondered how exactly this nature's splendid masterpiece was formed it's all in the geometry do you think you are smarter than me i don't need to think i know welcome back to thought control and today i'm going to tell you how exactly are rainbows formed do you know the rainbows are just optical illusion exactly rainbow isn't really a thing and it really doesn't exist in a particular place okay continue it appears when some light atmospheric conditions and the viewers positions to it are just about right it's because of how light interacts with different mediums while traveling through them so if you've ever seen one consider yourself lucky okay you are smarter than i thought what's your name my name is shivaranjani you tell me what exactly happening when you see rainbow well basically rainbows appear when light is scattered from raindrops into the eyes of the observer rainbow is a perfect demonstration of the dispersion of light and one more piece of evidence that light is composed of a spectrum of wavelengths each associated with different color so what basically happens is that the light hits the water droplet at a certain angle this angle is also very important factor in the formation of rainbows that's why rainbows are mostly seen at dawn or late afternoon when the sun is fairly low in the sky would you let me finish when the light hits the droplets and changes its medium from air to water it slows down as water is denser than air this change in speed causes the light to bend also known as refraction to add some part of the light passes through and only bends following the laws of refraction but some of the part is also reflected inside the droplet following the laws of reflection so it's like when you can see your own reflection in a glass window as the window both transmits and reflects the light correct exactly as the reflected light exits the droplet light gets separated into wavelengths and as we know the sunlight looks white but it's actually made up of different colors of wavelength like violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red do you know who made that discovery of course this was established by sir isaac newton he found that different wavelengths bend in different degrees of angles while traveling through different mediums for example red light has the longest wavelength and only bends at an angle of about 42 degrees whereas the violet light has the shortest wavelength and bends at an angle of around 40 degrees before it exits the water droplet as the wavelength of red light is longer it mostly appears on the outer edge of the rainbow thus red will be on the top and violet will be on the bottom this process of separation of colors is called dispersion this is why we see each color at a different location so light is made up of seven colors got it mm, not exactly other wavelengths also exist and are also reflected from the water they're just not visible to our naked human eye and they are present on both sides of the rainbow ultraviolet rays are shorter than violet rays and x rays are even shorter than ultraviolet rays gamma radiation normally occurs at the extreme of the side of the rainbow at the other end of the spectrum is the infrared radiation and radio waves by the way a rainbow is actually a complete circle it's just that from the ground we only see a part of it hey you are super intelligent which grade thank you and i'm in the 8th grade currently nice now can you please do the honor and ask viewers to subscribe hey i don't request anyone please for your buddy please all right please do subscribe to
thought control because it's a very innovative channel and you will learn a lot about everything to be honest if you have any comments please leave it at the comment box and do like this video thank you and have a nice day bye bye mere ko pata hi nahi kya bolna hai bye bye tata see you bye do you think you are smarter than me i don't need to think i know okay mera dal kya do you think you are smarter than me i don't need to think i know Welcome back to Thought Control. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cut. <laughs>